Do higher entities exist? Do they have an interest in you, in humanity, and the future of the planet? Are they angels? Are they demons? Are they extraterrestrials? Or are they something else entirely? This is a topic that we are intimately familiar with, and a deep secret that has been hidden from this world. Ancient holy texts are filled with stories about angels and demons and creatures that fell from heaven to earth. The Book of Enoch describes beings that are called the Watchers, those that would watch over humanity. These fallen angels taught the people of this world technology, the movements of the moon, science, and even art, makeup, and writing. They embraced sexuality, love, and lust. In almost every ancient culture, there are stories of visitors from the sky or from heaven. And today, your people discuss aliens and visitors from another planet. Of course, you can't trust ancient texts and the babblings of insane conspiracy theorists. They have all gotten the details quite wrong. Let us illuminate the subject. Now, this isn't to say that there isn't life on other planets. Of course there are, but we are speaking of something much different. In every age, the people of this world try to describe these higher entities in the context of the time that they exist in. In ancient times, when consciousness was young and the world was ruled by religious fanatics and holy men, people imagined these beings to be extremely spiritually advanced. Angels, demons, visitors from heaven. They had no understanding of science and technology. They could only describe these entities through the lens of their primitive consciousness and limited understanding. So they did so in terms of visitors from heaven. Today, in the scientific age, in the era of technology, people no longer imagine them as angels and demons. Instead, they imagine them through the lens of the consciousness of today, and they imagine them as little green men in flying saucers. When the world was ruled by prophets, they imagined angels. Today, while the world is ruled by technology, they imagine aliens. You see, human beings always imagine higher entities as being advanced versions of the current time they live in. In a very spiritual age, they imagined highly spiritual beings. Now, in a very technological age, they imagine them as highly technologically advanced beings. The truth is that both of these conceptions of higher entities are incorrect. These entities are timeless, and they exist as they do, regardless of how they are understood through the lens of a primitive human consciousness. The definition of angel, demon, and alien is laughable when applied to these entities. But indeed, higher entities do exist. It is absurd to think that a human is the current peak of evolution, and there are, of course, more highly evolved beings. Reality is mathematical, and these higher entities are mathematical beings. They exist outside of space-time, within the frequency singularity, that is, in the domain of pure mind. Those that have indulged in the psychedelic experience will have seen hints of what we are talking about. They exist in the world of thought, shaping intricate patterns within the collective consciousness of the universe. Pay close attention to what we are saying as we are pushing past the limits of the ordinary human's capacity to understand. You are not a body. You are a mind, a construct of infinite mathematical energy. These higher entities are the same as you. They are also minds, just at an extremely high level of evolution. They have evolved past the need for physical bodies. They exist as pure thought complexes. If these entities desire to directly affect physical reality, then they must enter the physical domain, since they do not exist within the domain of space-time. This is done by linking to a human organism. In other words, by being born into this world as a human, incarnating as an infant, and being raised just like everyone else on this planet. 
Imagine it a bit like a scientist looking at a microscopic world and then deciding to affect that world by becoming a microscopic organism herself. You may be wondering why humanity doesn't notice the effects of these entities. Here is an example. Is a dog truly aware of a human? Yes, but only in a very limited way. Does it understand the nature of a human? Does it look at the cities, the cars, the roads, and understand that humans built these structures? Do they understand anything substantial about the human world, even though it's all around them? No, they do not. Even though they are immersed in a world built by humans, they don't understand. They aren't truly aware of it. They're concerned with eating and being pet. Even though a car might be right in front of them, they don't understand a human consciously built it for a specific purpose. They're simply concerned with chasing it. In a similar way, humans of an ordinary consciousness are not aware of these higher entities, even though their structures are all around them, right in front of their face. They misunderstand their purpose. People don't have the capacity to look outside of space and time and understand the purpose of a planet, the purpose of history, the purpose of consciousness, and the purpose of evolution. Do they take the time to understand the implications of mathematics and the wave nature of reality? Do they contemplate the singularity? No. They're more concerned about the latest trends, wasting countless hours on social media, and buying meaningless products. Pathetic. Like dogs begging to be pet. Most humans do not have the capacity to understand. Only but a few. These structures are all around you, and a great game is being played right now. If you just had the eyes to see. One of these entities could be standing right before you. You could be looking right at them and never know. Just like people, some of these entities wish to do harm, but others wish to do tremendous good. And others lie somewhere in between. Those that wish to do good are interested in increasing the evolution of humanity, of your evolution, the evolution of the planet and the universe. They want to increase your level of consciousness. You have the capacity to become like them, and they wish you to get there. The philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche correctly realized that reality is filled with competing wills, all struggling and striving to actualize. You can see this everywhere. Just look at the wars of this world. Everyone is struggling for control. The ruling elite, the rich 1%, want to remain at the top while everyone else suffers. These people are scum. This struggle of wills extends to all planes of existence. As above, so below. And there are dark entities that want you to remain asleep to your true nature, so that you are powerless and easily controlled, and they use many techniques such as vile religions and creating systems of mind-numbing consumerism, turning the world into brain-dead shoppers that never question what they are, where they are, and why they are here. However, there are other entities that desperately want you to realize your infinite potential and to actualize your own power so that you can reach the pinnacle of your evolution. You have all the answers within your own mind. It's just locked away. And they want to help you realize it. The ancient texts got many things wrong, but one thing they did get correct is that some of these entities are trying to bring critically important information to this world. They are presenting this world with mathematical information that, if it is properly understood, would dramatically increase the consciousness of this planet and bring an end to all the wars and conflict. However, there are dark entities trying to suppress, hide, and distort this information in order to keep humanity in a sleepwalking state. Why do you think people hate mathematics so much? It's because the true living wave nature of math has been hidden from you to keep you away from that which would liberate you from the illusions and control matrix of this world. These aren't angels and demons, and these aren't little green men with laser guns, but there are indeed highly evolved mathematical entities that understand the trajectory of the universe, and some have even been called watchers. They exist within the sea of information, 
and can choose to incarnate into the physical dimension if they so will it by linking to a body and being born within that dimension. They have an interest in you and this planet because everything in reality is connected together and that means that ultimately their fate is bound up with yours. It's one immense feedback loop. And there are those that want you and this planet to become free. This world sits on the brink of war and destruction. This planet is right on the precipice. There is a whole world that exists behind the scenes right now, something that you could be a part of. You could start playing the game rather than being a pawn in the game. It's time for you to become master of the game and to wake up to what you truly are. Ad Astra, to the stars. Make sure you like and subscribe and check out my Patreon for many exclusive videos. To come to this world to help move it forward. But they very often don't remember what they are and why they are here. These types of individuals we call wanderers. And they feel very different. But I want to say thank you to everyone over on my Patreon. I've been able to talk with you guys and get to know you, and it's been really great. And I want you to know that all your support is what makes these videos possible and our movement possible. We're here to change the world, so thank you for your support.